Coming up next, it's a UFC heavyweight division collision. All right, here he is, the decorated kickboxer, back for more here tonight. And he's so comfortable in the striking realm, it's almost like he started kickboxing before he ever was reading or writing. Oh, it's unbelievable to see someone that's so comfortable under so much duress. I know. When you're in kickboxing range, you are in the fire. There is no safety. You're right in range to be getting knocked out. But he does not fear that. He loves it. He loves the, com he loves the combat. He loves the engagement. But what you have to understand is he's not engaging his opponents on their terms. He's doing it on his terms. Whether or not he wants to be in close with the big punches or he wants to be at range landing kicks, he's just constantly putting damage on you. Top, bottom, up, low, it does not matter. This guy is a dominant striker. One of the best kickboxers the UFC has ever seen. And in terms of the punching technique and the jab, as good as anyone in this division. All right, here he is for my money. Might be the most well-rounded fighter in this division. A true mixed martial artist at his core, and he believes he'll have a lot of advantages in this matchup. Tonight. Everyone talked about him being well-rounded. It's unbelievable to watch a guy that can do everything across the board at such a high level. Yeah, he's comfortable wherever the fight goes. Maybe he'll grapple tonight. Maybe he'll strike. Makes him a hard guy to prepare for. And now our tail of the tape for this heavyweight fight. Four years apart, some differences in height and reach. All right, now for the particulars, here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. When the action begins, our referee in charge of the Octagon, Herb Dean. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out Madison Square Garden Arena in New York City. It's time! Five rounds in the UFC heavyweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer making his professional debut here tonight. He stands six feet one is tall, weighing in at 191 pounds. Fighting out of Knoxville, Tennessee, Magic Man. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, holding a professional record of 14 wins, four losses, and one draw. He stands five feet 10 inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds. Fighting out of Busan, South Korea, the Korean Superboy, Doho Choi! You've been given your instructions in the dressing room. Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. We will have a clean fight. Touch gloves, let's make it official. They touch him up and we are underway. Ready. Well, the tension is palpable as this fight gets underway, and it'll be interesting to see how this matchup plays out. Definite striker on one side against the other guy who can really do it all. And in those situations, normally the guy that's more well-rounded will be the one that will find success. I want to see how this plays out. Nice connection with that punch. It's one thing to have an edge in reach. It's another to take advantage. Nicely done. Trying to get the knees going. All right, single collar tie now. So both guys landing at will here. Good action early. Beautiful right hook counter. Oh, quick position. Watch the knees he elbows from now. Oh, he lands a huge knee to the body. Vicious kick to the outside of that lead leg. You gotta start checking these, man. You gotta check these kicks, or you're gonna be limping around the octagon. Oh! 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 Huge 
knee to the head. He could be in trouble here. Get right here. Look at him whip his hips into that kick. All right, he'll engage in a single collar tie. There's no give on that leg kick. Really timing his shots nicely. Good tempo, very accurate, finding the range with relative ease. Yeah, he's doing a great job of really overwhelming his opponent with activity. Just over three minutes to go. Good. Keep the oh, that's a good right hand. Out of range with that one. And both fighters exchange in the pocket. Ooh, head kick lands. He's hurt. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? Some fighters shy away from checking a leg kick. Check that one. He gets to a spot, the tie clinch. Then he starts to let the knees fall. Oh, effective strike there by Choi. Man, it's almost like he's got a range finder out there. Just too easy as he connects with another good series of punches. If you're boxing this guy and only boxing him, you will be in trouble. Whiffs on the right hand. Right hand plus the clinch. Superboy goes for the clinch here. Looks like he's trying to recover. He was stunned a little bit earlier. Let's see if he can get a respite here. And a nice job at least staying upright on that. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? Nice leg kick lands. Jock in for position in the clinch. Both fighters here trying to get a more dominant position. Nice job by the veteran there to counter with a jab to the head. Strong work on the feet by Choi. Oh, single collar tie here. Muay Thai plump. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. Look at the force behind that leg kick. Both fighters hanging down in the pocket and both landing. Nice kick. These guys are going at it. Body kick. Just a slip there. All right, he engages in the single collar side. Oh, connects with the one two. Strong defense there to block the shot. Nice instincts. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg. Oh, kick. beautiful combination of kicks. Got the single collar tie. If your opponent has you in the clinch, pulling down on your head, landing punch after punch. You have got to clear that collar tie, reach back inside to try to find space. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Oh, and he caught the kick. All right, so no surprise. Once again, we find ourselves here in this clinch situation. We'll see who can advance. Who's going to be the person to dictate the pressure? Who's going to control the engagement from this 50-50 position? All right, DC, let's look at some of the highlights from the last round. Lot for the replay guys to choose from. Yeah, man, these guys stood on a quarter in the middle of the octagon. Take one to give one. Over and over, each guy landed, and they both landed very well over the course of that first round. Shots to the body. All right, so a nice shot there defensively to raise the guard and prevent any damage. Those hands never leave where they're supposed to be. And if you do that, most times you will block the shot that's incoming. 
Jones. Oh, he landed a beautiful straight punch there, DC. He's got an edge in reach and certainly is making it count in this one. And they separate. And he landed the right hand there. Nice connection with a the punch there. It's hard to recall a time in the past that his boxing looked this sharp. Never looked this good. Big punch from the clinch. Elbow landed there by Choi. All right, he engages in a single collar tie here. All right, so he's landed some good shots tonight, but this is not a combo meal, right? No three-piece, no soda. It's one and done more often than not. John, don't you come to me without a combo. I want the <laughs> whole platter. Give him the whole platter, young man. Put some punches together. Make this guy take the whole thing. Give him more than one strike. You have now found a set of punch. The jab is landing consistently. Find something that's going to go behind it. Oh, nice scramble by him there. Take down defense on point. He is a master in transition. Oh, big head kick. Oh, and he lands a punch there. Good connection by him on that. Great connect. So fast, so accurate. And watch the ability to land from anywhere. You got to check these low leg kicks. Well, he has really picked up the pace here in round two. Much more aggressive than we saw in round one. And now starting to find himself in the box. Wind it up on the right there to no avail. A little single collar tie there. Nice body kick. All right, so once again, they will clinch, and we will see which fighter is able to advance their position from here. Who's going to... And now his opponent in a roll of trouble. Such a sneaky head kick he did not recognize. He's coming high. And now he's got him hurt bad. Choi's hook to the body appeared to be blocked by the defense. Oh, big head kick land. Single collar tie now. And he connects there with a punch. So pretty good striking display by him thus far. He throws everything so straight and so accurate. He's found his range. Now he's in a rhythm, landing those nice, beautiful punches. Big kick lands. All right, he closes the distance, gets the single collar tie. Oh, nice. Punches block. Yeah, he's mixed it all up. That's a big hook. at the whip action that comes to me for that kick. Splits the guard lands the right. Huge elbow this. Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. Oh. So, fighter a little bit stunned, holding on to him now. Not doing a ton, just looking to recover. He blocks the shot. Oh, collar tie. Notice the drive. Look at how he drives the knee right into the midsection. Look at how he turns his hip over when he throws that kick. Well, he's got the reach advantage. You might as well use it. Nice job there to find a home for that chip. Good punch, land. Pretty significant well to the left side. Stuff the takedown, no problem. Man, looks like he's trying to set records here, landing all of these strikes. He is aggressive to a fault and really has been all night long as he continues to pour it on. Got to be careful here, though, not to gas out. Try to establish that jab. Head kick. All right, single collar tie now. Ten minutes in the books. A lot of high-level striking action in that last round. Daniel, take us through it, if you will. Tit for tat. Who has the best chin? It seemed as though they were looking for that answer. Both guys took risk. What a fantastic round. All right, DC, here we go with our next round, and we'll see if he can pick up where he left off. High volume of strikes landed in the previous round. High volume of strikes landed, 
he was able to be accurate, but also very, very active in his approach to the start of this fight. Oh, that's a beautiful kick right there. I don't know if you've ever been kicked by a mule, but I feel something like that. It has to. This guy is landing his kick with so much force. And now he goes with the combination of punches to the head. Potentially some concussive damage there. I mean, absolutely concussive damage. Landing all those strikes to the head. He's very accurate. He's very fast. And he has... Oh, one of his plans, and maybe time to get the bonus checks ready. I mean, this fight is about done. He's got to work very fast. Now he has to find one more strike to end the night. Stuffs that takedown attempt without issue. And go landed there by Shorts. He changes the angle, finds the right spot to land that punch to the head from the clinch. Man, is he timing his shots well here tonight, DC. It's hard to recall him being this accurate in the past. I mean, he is so sharp. And not only is he accurate, he's also keeping very busy. Well, most fighters can't keep up this type of aggression and pace, but you don't have to worry about this guy. He hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down tonight. I mean, this guy is really focused on those punches to the head inside of the clinch. Big leg. What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Don't finish this fight. He is getting lit up right now, John. Beautiful knee. Makes it. Oh! He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Just over three minutes to go in round three. He's very tricky when he throws that body kick. And they shoot. Oh. Dude's hurt. Throws him up. Go get him. Well, you gotta be working off of your back. He's certainly doing so here. Nice punch. And we have passed the midpoint of the fight. Working off of his back here. Looks like he may try to hip escape. Isolate an arm, DC. He needs to move his hips back to cover. He cannot allow him on that angle. He's taking arm bar now. You gotta recognize that when a guy starts to put his feet on your hips, you gotta move him off and you gotta cover. You can't be off to an angle. Now he falls back into the finishing position. Shortly thereafter. He got the arm straight, right? The moment he was able to break the lock, John, his opponent was in trouble. Hip pressure up, opponent had to tap. And he tapped and he lives to fight another day, but a huge win for his opponent by submission tonight. All right, let's take a look back at the replay as he gets it done by submission tonight, champ. He was able to get the fight to the ground exactly where he wanted it. Eventually, his opponent gave him an opportunity to get a submission. He did that, and he should be very proud of the work he did tonight in the Octagon. So there he is, your winner by submission, and that's exactly how you put the rest of this division on notice. Looks like this guy could be a factor moving forward in this division. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Gaines going to stop this contest at 3 minutes, 21 seconds of round number 3. Declaring the winner by tap out, Magic Man. All right, so there he is, all smiles, and rightfully so, after he gets the job done by submission tonight. You told me off the air before the fight that he was going to submit him, and that's exactly what happened. Man. I mean, you know this guy had such a great submission game that you cannot lay in his guard, and his opponent is known to lay in the guard. He made him pay for it tonight and got the submission victory.